So today I'm going to be building shelves for my plants in my bedroom, and I'm also going to decorate them with mostly my plants. Actually, probably only my plants. If we're being real, a lot of people are interested in like a styling plants video, so that's what I'll show you guys. I'll sort of talk about like my process for how I'm arranging the plants as well. Before I bought these, I was doing like iPad sketches on Procreate to see how I wanted to stack them. And the sketches look kind of funny, but it really helped me to visualize what shelves I wanted and how I wanted to stack them. Okay, now let's build. So I got four shelves in total, um, two five-tiered shelves, and then one three-tiered shelf, and then one two-tiered shelf. They're really easy to put together. You just use the dowels they provide and then screw them into the holes on the wood. You don't need to use any extra tools, and if you've ever built something from Ikea, you can definitely build this. Next, you slide the wood panel shelves into the dowels. Okay, so here you can see me not reading the directions. So they give you a little tool that you need to use to wiggle the panels in place. Once you have all the panels in place, you take the long piece of wood and then position the holes onto the dowels. Then you use the screws they give you and the hex key, and then you screw the screws into the holes. And I'm done with the first one. They are quite heavy because it's real wood, so um, it was kind of difficult to manage by myself. But as you can see, I'm very proud of my accomplishment. Looks really good. Hi, YouTube. Stream have mercy by Chloe. Stream have mercy. And now I'm just building the rest of the shelves. Um, so I had three more to go. They're pretty easy to put together. I would say that the most difficult part is taking it out of the packaging because they package it super well. Now I'm kind of playing with the configuration for how I want it in my room. These shelves look really nice and they're very high quality and I really love that they're stackable. So this is my old setup. I think that it looks good, but I don't think that these two furniture pieces together really look finished. Like it felt a little bit small for the space that I had. And we also need some furniture in the living room and the entry area. So this was like a perfect reason for me to get new shelves for my plants. Now I'm going to move all the plants and furniture away from the space so I can start to bring in the shelves. So right now I have two five tier shelves right here. So they're like making an L shape. So yeah, it goes all the way up to the ceiling and I would have to secure it to the wall just to make sure it doesn't fall down or anything. It looks pretty cool. I'm not sure if this is exactly how I want to configure it, but I'm going to just like mess around and see what looks the best and what is the most practical for me. Okay, it's very difficult for me to choose a configuration because I think like that you can kind of do anything and it'll look cool. So I'm gonna start putting plants on because I think I like this the most. It gives 
a lot of space right there for someone to sit maybe it's like not too high up and there's one tall one here and then medium and then smaller Here is how it is looking right now with these plants on. I like how each plant has its own little cubby hole for themselves. This one, you can't even see all of the shelf in the shot because it's so tall. I'll show you guys right now. Okay, you see what I mean? Like it's a little, it's a little bit too tall. I think it should be like right here and it'll look good. Now Chris and I are taking all the plants off so we can rearrange the shelves to lower the tallest one down a bit. So yeah, thank you Chris for helping me even though you just got off work. Um, what do you think about the cabinets, Chris? I think it's nice cause you can move them. I'm going to leave it like this for now and then put the plants on tomorrow and then I will show you guys the finished finished product. Okay, goodbye for right now. Cut to tomorrow. I've kind of rearranged my plants how I wanted them and adjusted the shelves. So I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like and my process with how I place the shelves and how I place the plants and how I chose where I wanted each plant to be. Okay, so this is how it looks all finished up. So previously we had another shelf right here, but I thought that it kind of blocked the view when you enter. One of the main things that I consider when I'm setting up a space and like deciding where to put furniture and where to put plants is how the room first looks when you open the door and enter. What is the first impression and does it feel crowded or does it feel like open? So I'll show you guys how the room looks when you first open the door and you just like look around. A major tip for creating a more open space with a lot of plants is to try and make sure they don't touch and that they don't overlap too much because then you won't really have any empty space and it'll all just be plants and it'll look a little bit too um, like a blob of foliage unless that's what you want and that's really cool too. I think it's important to be able to see empty space. It will accentuate the plant's features more and make them stand out. It'll bring out the shape, um, the color. So if you have a bunch of plants grouped together, you're not able to see the individual shape and uniqueness of each plant. And I think that's really important to bring out the beauty and appreciate and highlight each and every one of our plants because like you don't always want to be seen as a group, you know, you want to be an individual sometimes. And I would like to think that our plants feel the same way. From a general like design perspective, having empty space also allows your eyes to rest. You don't want to always be bombarded with stimulus. Unless you're a maximalist, then you know, you do you. Having space between your plants is also good for pest management. Because if your plants aren't touching, then there's less of a chance that you'll be spreading pests around. So visually helpful and also helpful for the health of your plants. I really love how it turned out. I think it looks really put together. It almost reminds me of a store or something, like how each plant has its own little space within each box. I wanted to make sure that there were different levels, so there's some variation in heights. I also wanted a mix of trailing plants and then also climbing plants to add some different dynamics. Here I have this hanging varicosa, I have a hanging asparagus fern, and then two climbing plants right here. You can see here I'm also mixing a climbing plant and a hanging plant. I just think that the mix of the two look really nice together. Eventually, I'm gonna have these two plants climb up. I'm working on getting these to climb up the wall. I also have this asparagus fern on the edge to hang over. I think it kind of softens the hard angle and line of the shelves. My final thoughts are that the shelves are really beautiful, well-made, sturdy. 
but the only thing is that they are kind of expensive but for me it's like a very long-term investment piece because they are stackable and modular so they can fit in any space because you can configure it however you want it to so i'll probably have this for the rest of my life hopefully i hope you enjoyed and goodbye i don't know why i'm obsessed with like those old 2015 youtuber outros they're always like slapping the camera and like doing something mm -hmm.